Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Monday, July 6 at 11.45 p.m. Mountain Time 2020. Now, you're looking at the Thule Greenland Neutron Monitor Cosmic Ray Count in blue, superimposed over the smooth sunspot number, and you can see here we are in the Cosmic Ray Maximum. Cosmic Rays... Increase cloud nucleation, increase hail size, and they also evolve the human genome. Now, known magnetic excursions have caused massive cosmic ray incursions, which cause evolution and mass extinction all at the same time. And today you're living the next magnetic excursion during the next grand solar minimum. It's happening now. These are episodic, periodic, and regular. As far as the paleoclimatology, we have high resolution going back at least 10 to 12,000 years. In my opinion, 2 million years based on the ice core data. And you're just looking at the last several thousand years here, which drives my point home. Paleoclimatology is episodic and periodic and controlled by the sun. And in due course, the empires are controlled by the sun as well. Here you can see the Roman warm, the Minoan warm, and the peak of empires, and the downfall of empires here during the Grand Minimus. European Dark Age, the Dark Ages, the Little Ice Age, so on and so forth. We should learn from the past. Now, if we take a look at the daily solar wind, we've had a peak. Are we coming up into cycle 25, or is this an aberration? The electron influence also peaking up a little here. But the sunspot count is down at zero. So we are still in sunspot deep minimum where we should see increased seismic activity, which we've seen over the day. We've seen magnitude here, a 6.6 .6 in Indonesia at blot echo depth. This could be coming up at a 7 magnitude or higher. We also see another 6.2 in Micronesia. Increased activity here in Fiji, increased activity on the West Coast, increased activity at the mid-ocean ridges. Boom, boom. All predictive of grand solar minimums. Temperature dropping 0.35 degrees since January. We're only 0 .5, 0 0.43 degrees C above baseline for the last 50 years. There is no warming in your global if we come over to Solar Hammer, we'll see the only plage is equatorial, which was indicative of Solar Cycle 24, this bright spot here as well. So Cycle 24 has still gone nowhere while we reach cosmic ray maximum at the deepest minimum in human history. Now, a new paper coming out. Certified Mega Flash Lightning Extremes for Flash Distance and Duration, 16.73 seconds, the longest duration lightning ever recorded during the cosmic ray maximum as predicted the largest hail ever recorded happening in the last several years during the cosmic ray maximum as predicted are you picking it up cosmic rays increase hail size and duration lightning inception by large particles grand solar minimum much oppenheimer ranch project they picked it up and they put it down 24th of may back in 2020 that's all i can say they are picking it up, and we just put down another bomb here, June 20th, the largest lightning flash ever recorded during the largest deposit of hail ever during the cosmic ray maximum. Are you ready for what's coming? Now, the magnetic excursion won't happen for 5, 10, 15, maybe 25 years. There's a micronova involved, an outburst from the sun. These are all related. None of it's related to the grand solar minimum. That is a small cycle. These are the bigger cycles. We're taking it a step at a time, and we're unraveling it for you. I hope you're ready. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance. As you witness the mega flash lightning, the large hail, and the effects of the grand solar minimum during a magnetic excursion. We love each and every one of you.
If you have any questions, leave them down below. We're going to do a live stream Q&A on all these topics very soon. Stay tuned. And be safe. Hail is coming. Lightning will strike. And the cosmic rays are ever increasing. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Be safe. We love you. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. Share this video with like-minded people. I knew that I wasn't on the video, and I'm still not. <laughs> Be safe.